G'day and welcome back to NS2HD. If you are watching on NS2HD and if you are watching on the Twitch, thank you for still being here. It's been a long day, but I believe this will be uh, the second last game today. We have Arkea versus 420. Now, Arkea took both games earlier on, and now we're going to see them go at each other again. Now we're on a US server, so the pings have swapped. Now Arkea playing with the higher pings. It'll be very interesting to see how that goes. Server full. Oh no. Uh, I'm just asking if we can have another swap. If it means a server restart, we might have to do this without Wasabi one. So we might need to restart this server. Oh, it looks like we are restarting the server. Okay. Oh, no. Excuse me, guys. This is uh, the nature of live casting. Oh, we are restarting, I think. Okay. So, we are going to drop back out to the ready room right now. So, excuse me. Start this game. I'm gonna find uh, Zika and follow him into this game. And we're loading back up. So sorry about that, guys, but we will be ready to rock in just a moment. And here we go. We are ready again. So that was very quick. And I will be able to call Wasabi One again and get him back. And then we are going to cast. Wasabi one, are you there? I am here, Hugh. Awesome. Now, uh, Akira is just taking a couple of minutes to discuss their strategy. Oh, no. He says now, uh, Scream says now we be ready. Now, let's uh, just uh, introduce these teams here. We've got our, on Akira, we have Grissy, Yuki, Trefnix, Zico, Scream, and Lance playing as a mercenary. And on the Kara side, we have Technorizer, Raw, 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 Revcore, Hut, Papa Giorgio, and Iron Horse. Wasabi one, what do you reckon we're going to see in this game? Well, I think uh, with the pink changes, I think 420 will hold up a little bit better. Um, but I do still give a slight advantage to Ark, uh, being that they are very skilled shooters. So it should be an interesting game. It is going to be a very interesting game. I'm hoping that we're going to get cross spawns this time. Looks well, like close spawns. <laughs> and we are off. And it looks like the two aliens have picked the right direction. And two yeah, not. You know, you've seen the same problem though, that we talked about 420 in the last game. They're not really playing together. They're they're running in kind of one at a time, which is a big no-no. And Yuki just had the most insane cuff kills. He just sent two. <laughs> what? That was, funny. That was he hilarious. Fell down there and got those kills. That that's just too much. That was amazing. He killed two marines, sent them flying to the ventilation shaft, and then killed himself uh, because he was stuck. So that's. That was pretty amazing to watch. Uh, props to Yuki for that. That was fantastic. And now... So you can see is already pushing all the way up into Atrium with their sis. They're placing down Resnuts as quick as possible. I'm a little surprised that uh, we've just got one guy hanging out here in Vent, not being a little more aggressive. Yeah, he's waiting for his moment at the at right now. Yeah, what a drop! Oh, but Technorizer oh, no. had the reflexes. Very low on health. It was two bites in. He only needed one more bite to end that. Wow. Now you got uh, Lance and uh, Grissy, both extremely good players, moving in here into Glass Hallway. Let's see if Ra 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 is going to get the drop on Lance. He did. Outstanding. Out. It's a good shot for them to cut off some assist chains. 
And now the Grissy is going to be able to pres pressure these houses. We've also got Marine pressure inside the alien hive. I always love to see pressure inside the hive. 420 cleaning it up, but when you've got pressure on the hive, it's fantastic. Now, that could be a big deal early on, especially because 420 does not have a crag down. They've gone for the shell. Oh, wait, there's the crag all the way at the back of the hive. Bad placement. The uh, umber does not spread as well from the back side True. as it would have been. Front. Very true, and look, the Marines attacking it, but the Umber is down. Commander's out of the hive. They're using the Umber around them now. But see, it's not protecting the front of the hive, which is a big deal. It certainly is. Now, I'm not sure if the uh, the hive is going to get caught by that Umber or not. I believe it will. I believe it's based on what entities it hits. But look at Zico. He's, I mean, he's already pressuring cysts all the way back here. He's cutting the cyst chain in, uh, in half repeatedly causing cyst death. Now he's going to go at this one. Notice how he, he goes to one and skips one. So he's attacked this one and this one instead and left this one alone. And uh, that's crucial because now that one's going to die. I'll know this, that it sounds like I'm being biased by continuing to bring up Ark's strategy here. But Ark has been extremely effective at keeping the aliens on their side of the map while they've gone around and locked in these res nodes and these areas. They have had no aggression on their base whatsoever, and these aliens are going to suffer because of that. Absolutely. They've gone for early shotguns. I wouldn't be surprised again with it. Seiko, this is probably an arms lap. There it is. Yep. Uh, seeing him do those early upgrades again. Yep, there's the shotguns. Some good wall walking in crossroads. Will it be enough? Nope, Grissy's going to take down Hut. And Yuki's oh, going to wow. take down Raw, 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 Raw. There goes Iron Horse taking down Chris E. I do hope you do that every single time you announce him. <laughs> I don't know if I can keep that up, but we'll see. Just how many roars I can get out. There, I'm not going to announce him there. <laughs> so even yeah. on the even on the res collection at this point, uh, both teams with a, an unusually large number of extractors and harvesters for this stage of the game, I'd say. Every every node on the map is taken at this point in time. Very unusual. Oh, a gorge caught out of position. Oh, that is big. He's going to get chased down by Zico. Can he get away? It looks like he might just get away using his belly slides desperately. He needs a skulk right now. Where are the skulks to protect this gorge? Oh. It's actually more important at this point because they need to hold the res. So these skulks oh. were very effective by coming out to crevice, saving that resno, which was down to 16%. That's true. Um, but, uh, oh, but Zico's going to take it. No, he won't. But I got it down to eight. That was close. They did well to hold the harvester. They've now got enough to drop a second hive here in just a second. 71 res. Uh, looks like they have not come for any other upgrades yet, which is uh, at this point with as much as they're holding their res nodes. There goes the drifter. I'm guessing it's definitely headed up to Atrium. They've also secured uh, cysts all the way into crossroads now. Outstanding. Look at this. Look at this. Akia pushing well into the hive. Forcing these skulks back to defend. Even if there is Marines go down right now, they've done so well. And they're not going to. They're going to keep this fight the going. Hive, Umbra being used. You know, that was really effective. Look at how little they have no eggs. I mean, this is a big deal. If they can continue this pressure, these aliens cannot keep countering it. And look at that. Harvester just went down in... In Zico, uh, using the same tactic from last time, he's gone uh, armor two, uh, fully uh, researched already. Although it is Scream commanding this time, but yes, it's a very similar strategy. Zico is actually on the field in this game. That's what I get for not paying attention when I was looking at that. <laughs> oh, Catalyzing good. the second hive. Oh, That's it's under attack. Sixty percent, but you know, shotgun on there. And well, even axes. And I actually look find at this. the axes was more effective than some weapons. One marine guarding also, while the other knives. Very effective. A lot of damage going down there. 40% on the hive. It's fade. Can only shadow step. He'll be okay. He'll down. Oh! Down. I was just saying the fade was going to be okay, and he's gone down. That was massive. Iron Horse oh. one of the better players, too, so that is a huge loss to them. Wow. Pub. Uh, looks like Hut and... Uh, Papa Giorgio, uh, as well as Ra, are the only ones that can go fade now if they're going to do it. Wow. Lucky that guy down, but this hive took some serious damage. 
forty percent. This We've is got Marines pressuring Data Core again, shotgunning. Again, that Umbra is not very effective from that distance, but they do have enough skulks here to counter this attack. And the skulks with the Umbra on them, because again, they can carry it with them, is extremely effective. So it creates so much more armor and blocks bullets from registering. Wasabi One would have preferred to see the Krag here or here, and I tend to agree with him. It would have been much better placement, but uh, then again, it does keep the Krag safe and stops it being a bullet absorber, so I'm not sure. But uh, Technorizer putting some pressure down on the extractor and ventilation. The aliens desperately need to put this pressure down right now. And it I is expect to see a crag, yep, crag going down an atrium, which is going to be a big deal for protecting it from future advancements. We do have uh, Yuki coming in right now. He has an opportunity. Hive has just dropped, but it is hurt. It's at 50%. So he has an opportunity to take it down. I don't see any aliens up here. This could go down before the aliens get in. They better rush. 37%. Yo, I think he should have kept firing. I think that was a big mistake on his part to stop. Whoa, what a kill on Papa Giorgio. Wow. Yeah, I, I have to say, I think that was a big mistake to move away. I think he could have gotten this thing down to at least 5%. We've got the Marines firing from a side, 20, 12. Wow, look at these crags go down. Yep. Wow, that is a hell of a lot of crag. Now, am I correct in saying crags no longer heal hives? Or is that just my imagination? Uh, that is question. Uh, I believe they do not heal hives anymore. Well, it's up to 15% now. Uh, maybe it does it slower. Yeah. That is uh, a lot of crap. Yeah, it's up to 17. So it looks like they do heal them, but it's just at a slower rate. Look at the sheer number of crags going up here. It's going to be very good if the, the aliens can fight within that heal zone, and the humbras will also be devastating. So that hive's probably okay now. The, the aliens moving in a pack. That's very good to see. They're going to put good pressure down on that extractor. And the, uh, the Marines trying to move through and cut them off here uh, through this passageway, but not... I, you know, I've got to say, um, I, I was too quick to judge, and 420 is doing a fantastic job of countering the Marines at this point. Um, they're taking a lot of their resnos down. They're down to three resnos. They haven't recently. Oh, but what was that? That was just a massacre. That was just a massacre in Summit Reception. I, I don't know how many fades they lost. It was at least one. It might have been two. Holy moly, this Hydra more than paying for itself right now. I don't know if the Marines even realize it's there. They'll realize now, but with three Marines, they're going to kill it now. But that Hydra easily paid for itself many times over in harassment damage. Great placement. Oh, this Fade caught. Oh, he's out in the open. He needs to get out. Bleeds out. Oh, there's another one there, and he went down. Oh. crevice. So they're going to try to push this hive, which I actually think is the wrong idea. This hive is so well protected with all those crags that just, you know, an umber spray from one of them every few seconds is going to more than protect it oh, against the that. onslaught of aliens that's going to come through. I would say that their best bet is honestly to see just Data Core Hive, which really only has the one crag. He's just now getting his second shell. Doesn't even have a built whip, and there's barely any eggs here. There's maybe about six eggs. I mean, they're now up to level two weapons. They've got their patented ARC robotics factory. Yeah, so we'll probably see ARC soon. But look at the sheer number of crags here. I mean, basically, this the Umbra's available. I mean, Umbra, Umbra. And then they'll just keep Umbraing. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, And it's wow. really bad because those fades just walk through it, and they are near, uh, you know, unstoppable with that Umbra all over them. Level 2 armor and level 2 weapons is going to be devastating. Now, this is a crucial moment. Let's see Five Marines moving in. what the Marines can pull out. They've got to get this fade down if they expect to do any kind of damage. But again, that fade being really smart about using the Umbra. He's getting kind of stuck, though. Now, Axes are out. They're smart. They're realizing that the Umbra is out there and they can't really counter through it. Now I've got the Lurk up there. Still, where's the rest of the alien team? It looks like there is an arc moving two arcs moving from sub access to data core so maybe this was all a ploy the whole time although we do have a single uh, skulk on the power node got it down to 72 these arcs are going to do some serious damage if the aliens don't realize very quickly although an onos has just found them that came out of nowhere yeah big these, deal the arcs big deal that although i will say this you know the the gore and uh, smash ability are were drastically reduced in this patch from where they were. Um, these arcs are still going to get at least one hit off on the one of them. Maybe. Uh, oh, 
now that he's got the... No, they're wow. going to go down before they even get a single shot off. So 420 very much back in this game right now. Still pressure on their second hive, but it's it's comfortable. It's on 100%. The Marines just can't do damage past these crags. They're going to need to get an arc in here, but with that Onos on the field, that is big. It is really big. And, you know, the aliens, although they could use the extra res, aren't hurting for it at the moment. They're very well protected. They can focus on just keeping the aggression up. Um, I'd like to see some whip placement here to stop the Marines before they can even get into the actual atrium. But, uh, you know, again, with all those crags, it's near impossible to do anything. Absolutely. There's a they, smash. They take serious damage down. Phase gate's down. This is a big blow to the Marines. They're going to drastically be pulled back to sub-access, which means we will see a counter to DC probably at this point. Beacon back. Yeah. Watch this. Two more arcs. They're going to push DC hard right now. Ono's moving through crossroads. Yeah, this is, this is going to get really interesting really quick. So this is crucial. Can these arcs do damage? Can these Marines keep these arcs alive? And the crucial thing is, can they stop the Onos getting in amongst them and just tearing Iron the Horse squad apart? He's being extremely smart here down in sub -access. He's bio-bombing all their IPs. He's getting splash damage on uh, on the command share, which is down, down to 80%. You got Hut biting the power node. This is uh, obviously arcs all in to take down one hive, but I don't think they're going to be able to beacon back in time. Hive down to 40%, but their base is in some serious damage. Yeah, they're in real Got trouble. One IP down, second IP about to go down. Second IP is down. Back, but the f and the, the, the hive twenty percent. They were all dead. Oh wow! Say this is game. They've got no IPs. Wow. Even as you know, this chair is going down twenty-seven, that... twenty-six, and they're calling it GG. What a game! That is an outstanding game. I take it back. Four twenty. You know, they really impressed me there by keeping the aggression up. The five uh, crag drop was just insane. That was amazing. I hope you've all enjoyed that and uh, stick around because we are going to have game four in just a moment.